Hi, this is Yancy Arias. And Ana Carolina Alvim. And you are watching Ed Magic TV. Pete Allman here, and welcome to Celebrity Scene News right here on Ed Magic TV. We're at Groman's Chinese Theater, right here in Hollywood, and it's a great premiere. And we're here at the 14th Annual Los Angeles Latino International Film Festival, and we're going to see a new film called Hermano. It's opening night. Edward J. Almost and a number of celebrities will be here. So let's have a little fun and check it out. Check it out. It's simple to see it's Ed Magic TV, so the world can believe it's Ed Magic TV. So the magic keeps moving on, and what a lovely day! And your your premiere will be on Sunday. Uh, let's talk a little bit about that. Sure. Sunday at 2 p.m. here at Chinese Man Theater One uh, premieres Baby, a film about a couple trying to have a baby, and it's a little bit of fun and a little bit of sadness. But um, I, I think the most important thing is that we reach out to couples and give them a little bit of hope about you know the technologies that are existing today and the challenges that a couple could have um, just trying to have a baby. And uh, it's based, loosely based on a true story. My wife and I are trying to have a baby. And so I wrote about some of the, uh, some of the really odd and interesting events that happen in the process of, uh, of, of doing that. And so um, I had a lot of fun making this movie and I, I hope that it resonates with the audiences that, uh, that they can see, you know, uh, some of the things that, that we talk about uh, uh, not, not always talked about because I'm doing it from a guy's perspective. You always hear the woman's perspective. And in this one you see the guy's perspective and it challenges men to look inside and go, you know what, even if there is a slight problem there, there is hope and it hurts, but you know, you'll make it through. As a, a talent um, and being in the business is tough, what are your, um, your obstacles that you had to face as two people that love each other, that work together and stay married? <laughs> well, we're, uh, we've been together quite a while and uh, I think the, one of the beautiful things is that we've embraced is that we both study with the very, very, the, all the same studios and different coaches that we've had. We learned a vocabulary to be able to communicate with one another and we learned to allow each other to have the space to create. And um, being my first time as a director, um, I really wanted to create a really wonderful, safe and fun environment for her to have, you know, just to feel free to do whatever it is that, you know, that comes from a true moment. And uh, um, when I prepare as an actor for films or television, you know, she allows me my space to, you know, do what I have to do. So it's, it's great to be able to have the same vernacular and, and the same approach and the same need to you know, do great work and to tell the best true stories that we can and, and really focus on, on, on just, you know, really high level work, you know, uh, between uh, our goals and what we have for each other. As we leave on this broadcast, I'd like the people out there to know a movie that really inspires you that you've appeared in, that you studied, you became that character, and the passion and what you learned from the movie, and we'll start with you. Um, well, the passion came because it's something that we've been trying to... I've been wanting to have a baby since I was 16. I know it doesn't sound <laughs> very good. Well, he's talking about movies that inspired you. Oh, to get my character? To, to become... Our, our movie that uh, perhaps you've done, that you're really proud of, that really had a lot of meaning that you appeared in. Uh, well, working with Meryl Streep was the most amazing thing I've ever done. It made me really realize where it counts and why I'm doing this, because sometimes Hollywood seems very fickle and, you know, people move here just to become a movie star. And I feel like working with Meryl Streep gave me a different perspective of what, why am I doing this? And I'm definitely doing this. And the name of that movie again? One True Thing. Coincidentally, um, I had the wonderful opportunity to work with Edward James Olmos uh, in a, a series called American Family. Um, and in that, uh, it was you know watching him in American Me and Stand and Deliver, uh, growing up with him in different uh, shows and television. When I moved to LA back in 2001 and then landing that particular role in 2004 after a bunch of other things that I've done, I felt like when I hugged him and he played my father and I played his son, I felt like I've arrived. And that was one of the, uh, I would guess, the pinnacles of my career as a young man, you know, transcending where I want to be and working with the best, you know. And I find, uh, you know, <laughs> no plug, 
but it's real. You know, this is Edward James almost baby. His, uh, you know, Los Angeles International Latino Film Festival. But I, I owe him uh, a lot. And uh, and then the second most interesting role that that's changed my life was obviously Miguel Cadenas and Kingpin that David Mills, God bless his soul, I dedicate my film to, um, who passed on while shooting that show on a, on HBO uh, um, about New Orleans. Uh, he was a huge inspiration to me as a writer and he helped me you know uh, focus in and, and really understand what it is to put you know your ideas to paper and um, changed my life uh, his show that he gave me and we worked together and it was a great role and so we just keep positive we just enjoy life and try to help others and just everything works in a hopefully a harmon harmonic way if you will that's right creating a beautiful team with great energy and you know hopefully every project I decide to create We'll make it happen. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.